my name is Sarah Son. I'm a librarian at Gorgas Library. This is the first in a series of video tutorials on the Citation Manager Zotero. Zotero is an open source program that you can download for free from zotero.org. A Citation Manager is an essential tool for any researcher. You can use it to collect and organize a library of sources with citation information and notes, attach PDFs, and easily generate a bibliography and citations. It makes everything keyword searchable, so no matter how chaotic your research process might feel, you can easily find what you need. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to add an item to your library. Manually, using an identifier such as an ISBN or DOI, and using the browser extension. Let's start by adding an item manually. I might use this option for a physical item I have or an older item that doesn't have an identifier. I'm going to use this cookbook from 1960. I'll create a new item in my library by clicking the green plus sign in the menu bar. The most common types of items are at the top of the menu, or I can go to More for more options. Once I choose the type of item that I want, I can enter the information in the text fields. I can use the attachment button here to attach images, PDFs, or other files to the item. I have a scan of the table of contents, so I'm going to attach that. When I attach the file this way, Zotero will automatically change the name of the file based on the item's metadata. Zotero also allows you to quickly add items using an identifier, such as an ISBN for a book or a DOI for an article. These are unique numbers assigned to an item that allows Zotero to retrieve information about them to add to your library. You might find it useful to use this option when you want to add a particular edition of a book or if you are adding items from a bibliography that includes DOIs. To use an identifier to add an item, I'm going to select the magic wand icon in the menu bar. I'll copy my identifier from the bibliography of the article I'm working from and paste it in. I hit enter and Zotero pulls in the data associated with that number. At this point, I can make any additions I'd like. The most efficient way to add an item to your library is using the Zotero Connector browser extension, which you can download at zotero.org. I'll show it using Chrome, but the connector is available for Firefox, Safari, and Edge. This feature is what makes Zotero so useful and flexible. The browser extension can read data from almost any web page and import it into your library. Note that Zotero must be running for the browser extension to work. I'll start by adding a book that I found in Scout. I click on the Zotero connector to import the information into my library. I put my plugin button right here next to my address bar so I can find it easily. When I click the plugin button, I get this pop-up that will allow me to specify where to save it in my library. It automatically saves the item to the folder I have selected, or I can use the drop-down menu to select another one. Now, when I go over to my library, the book I've just saved is in the folder, and I can check and see if I need to make any additions or corrections to the information. I can see here that it's correctly labeled my item as a book, but I'll want to fix the punctuation in the title. Zotero has also saved the book's abstract, all the bibliographic information, and a link back to the Scout record. This process will work on any website, from databases like JSTOR, to online bookstores like bookshop.org, to newspapers like the New York Times, and even social media like Twitter. If you add an item with an associated PDF in a database, like this article from Scout, Zotero will usually be able to pull in the PDF and save it as an attachment. These attachments won't get renamed automatically, but I can right-click on the attachment and select Rename File from Parent Metadata to rename it. Note that Zotero cannot automatically attach ebooks that have download restrictions or items from some databases, but you can attach a PDF or other file using the attachment button. The Zotero connector will also take a screenshot and save it as an attachment to the item. This is especially useful for preserving access to an item that might be deleted later, like a social media post. And those are the basics of adding an item to your Zotero library. Check out the other videos in this series to learn more about using Zotero, explore our resource guide, and let us know if you have any questions.